You've come to the right place to design and order custom mechanical parts over the web. Hi, I'm Aurora Nestle and welcome to eMachine Shop. Using the eMachine Shop free CAD software is quick and easy. In this segment, I'll walk you through the basics of designing a simple bracket. The bracket will have four holes and a bend. I'll give you some cool tips and tricks as well. Please note that we're constantly improving the software, and this video may have some differences with the software version you're using. Designing parts is actually fun. First, let's take a look at the eMachine Shop software screen. At the top of the screen, you'll see the main menu. Below that is the top toolbar. Then comes a numeric bar, which will show measurements when we start drawing. Then comes the ruler. At the left edge is the left toolbar for drawing basic shapes. The large blank area is the workspace where drawings are made. At the bottom of the screen is the status bar, which shows various useful information. You can point the mouse for help on any button or icon, such as the top toolbar, the left toolbar, and the numeric bar. Now, let's design the bracket. First, we'll choose a material for the bracket from the recommended list. I'll go over material selection in more detail in another video. Here we go. Choose Job Material. Scroll through the list of materials to the aluminum section. Let's choose aluminum 5052. Click OK. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now, let's draw the bracket. It's going to be a rectangle with four circles for mounting holes. Go to the left toolbar and click the rectangle button. Go to the workspace and click the mouse once. Move the mouse and click again. Now, set the exact size of the rectangle by going to the numeric bar. Enter 5 for the horizontal size and press the Enter key. Notice that the size of the rectangle has changed. And 3 for the vertical size. To zoom the drawing size to equal the screen size, we'll press the Equal key on the keyboard. Let's zoom out a bit by pressing the minus key on the keyboard. Easy enough so far? OK, let's add four holes near the corners of the rectangle. We'll use the holes for mounting screws. And watch how I use the nudge feature. Click the circle tool. Go to a blank area inside the rectangle and click. Move the mouse a bit and click again. Let's set the diameter of the circle by going to the numeric bar. For a quarter inch hole, enter 0.25 and press the Enter key. Now we have the first of our four holes. Let's set the nudge distance to 0.5. That's the distance the line will move when we press an arrow key on the keyboard. Let's make three copies. From the menu, choose Line Repeat or Control D to make the second hole. Control D again for the third hole and again for the fourth hole. Next, we'll drag one circle so the center snaps to a corner. Using the keyboard arrow keys, we'll nudge the circle into place. Drag the second hole to another corner and nudge into place. Drag the third hole to another corner and nudge into place. And drag the final hole to the remaining corner and nudge into place. We're now done with the flat shape of the bracket. Next, we will add a bend. That's even easier. Click the straight line tool. Go to the middle of the top line and notice the small square. The square indicates that we are snapping to the center of the line. Click and move to the center of the bottom line. Click again to complete the line. Now we need to assign the bend machine to this line. Click the machine button and the machine dialog appears. Select bend. Leave the default angle of 90 degrees. Click OK. That completes the drawing. Now let's see what the part looks like in 3D. Click the Pyramid button. That's what our part will look like. We can drag the cursor to rotate the view. We can zoom in and out using the scroll bar. Looks good. Let's close the 3D view. Next, we'll make a few settings, and I'll show you where you can enter ordering information. Select Job Settings. Let's say we want 25 for quantity. Over here, you can set tolerance and a few other settings. 
Over here, you can enter your address and ordering information. Then we'll click OK. We're just about done. Wouldn't it be nice if we had an expert machinist by our side to make sure everything is OK? That's what the analyzer is for. And we get an instant price at the same time. Click Job, Analyze. First, we'll see the price dialog. Several options are given for prices and delivery times. Over here, you can see the cost per part. Click OK. Expert feedback appears on the right side of the screen. Everything looks OK, so we're ready to fly. Now we're ready to order using the order command. Designing and ordering parts in eMachine Shop is quick, easy, and convenient. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this portion of the eMachine Shop video series. I'm Aurora Nestle, and I hope you enjoy using eMachine Shop.